I mean, it's incredible how much has happened in eight years. So, you know, I wonder what, what, what will things be like eight years from now? In a thrilling revelation, exciting news, Elon Musk has recently provided a comprehensive review of SpaceX's accomplishments in 2023, and outlined ambitious plans for 2024 and beyond. SpaceX unveils an incredible update on the Starship program. Elon Musk himself shares a surprising update on the highly anticipated Starship, giving us a sneak peek into the revolutionary Starship version 3. While the highly anticipated Starship version 2 continues to keep us on the edge of our seats, SpaceX opens the doors to a whole new level of interstellar possibilities. With version 3 already in active development, the world eagerly awaits the jaw-dropping unveiling for the next-gen Starship update that will bring us closer to a future among the stars. Get ready to have your imagination launched into orbit as the Starship update from version 2 to version 3 unfolds before your eyes. Don't miss out on this extraordinary revelation. The Starship program in particular holds a wealth of intriguing details that we'll be exploring in today's episode. Hello everyone, welcome back to another episode of my channel. S Make sure to stay tuned until the end so you won't miss any crucial updates. Elon Musk, the visionary behind SpaceX, shared a surprising update on the highly anticipated Starship program. Breaking from the familiar Starship version 2, Musk introduced plans for the next level, Starship version 3 currently in active development. While the world awaits the unveiling of Starship version 2, the announcement of its successor adds an extra layer of excitement and anticipation to the future of space exploration. Elon Musk proudly said during the announcement, the revelations of Starship version 3 is nothing short of astonishing. SpaceX renowned for its rapid advancements has once again defied expectations with the rapid progression from Starship version 2 to the unveiling of version 3. The design and energy capabilities of version 3 are poised to surpass its predecessors within the illustrious Starship family. Showcasing SpaceX's commitment to pushing the boundaries of rocket technology. Musk's stability to swiftly introduce these groundbreaking developments leaves us in awe, sparking curiosity about the incredible power that Starship version 3 holds. The rapid evolution of SpaceX's Starship program continues to captivate us with its unprecedented pace. Musk's recent mention of version 3 with an increased height ranging from 140 meters to 150 has ignited our imaginations. While Musk didn't delve into specific details, we can draw educated speculations based on the progression from version 2. Starship version 2 anticipated to reach a height of 130 meters is supposed to feature 9 Raptor engines, a notable increase from the current 6. Extrapolating from this, Starship version 3 could potentially tower 10 to 20 meters higher, constituting a 10 to 15 percent increase over the height of version 2. While the exact engine count for version 3 remains uncertain, SpaceX might introduce a more potent version of the Raptor engine to further enhance payload capacity. The Raptor engine version 3 for Starship version 2 is a newly manufactured version by SpaceX first tested in May of 2023. Raptor 3 has higher ISP, or specific impulse, a measure of how efficiently a rocket engine uses its fuel, more thrust, and many other improvements, Musk said. The current Raptor 2 engines produce 250 tons of thrust whereas the Raptor 3 engines are expected to generate roughly 269 tons of thrust, marking a 17% improvement. With Starship version 3, the larger size implies an increase in propellant mass. I wonder whether the elongated portion will be for the propellant tanks or a payload bay. The development of Starship version 3 signifies SpaceX's dedication to continuous improvement and innovation in space exploration. As the company progresses through different flight versions, it aims to address various technical challenges, demonstrating the resilience and adaptability of Starship design. However, SpaceX will continue to launch its version 1 Starship before debuting the upgraded versions. The final four are ships 28, 29, 30, and 32, with 31 likely being scrapped. It's not clear if all four of these will be used in future tests, but ship 28 and booster 10 are the next pair that will change the game in the third Starship launch next month. Musk expressed great confidence in this flight, seemingly assuring us of victory in the form of a successful third flight. With flight 1, the goal was not to blow the pad up and ideally get some distance, which we did. With Flight 2, it was to get past staging, so we achieved the goal of getting past staging and almost to orbit. And then Flight 3, 
We've got what we want to get to orbit and we want to do an in-space engine burn from the header tank and prove that we can reliably deorbit. We want to do a tipping point, header domain, propellant transfer. This is important for the NASA. As Jessica Jensen, Vice President of Customer Operations and Integration at SpaceX, announced a few days earlier, hardware readiness for the upcoming launch has been scheduled for January, indicating a potential launch in the following. February. The upcoming test flight could include a demonstration of cryogenic propellant transfer in Starship, a precursor to more complex orbital propellant transfers. This technology is crucial for future moon landing missions under the Artemis program scheduled to take place no earlier than September of 2026. However, one point of contention is the number of tanker. Launches required to refuel the Starship lunar lander. Musk previously estimated no more than eight launches but recent statements from NASA suggest the number is higher, possibly in the teens. Jensen gave a rough estimate of 10 hours of launch time, although she noted that the actual number could change based on the results of the initial test flights. Despite the complexity of transporting propellants in space, SpaceX remains optimistic, drawing on its extensive experience with rendezvous and docking missions to the International Space Station as well as rapid launch sequences using Falcon 9 and heavy vehicles. The main challenges remains the delivery of cryogenic propellants into orbit, which remains unproven. However, SpaceX's iterative testing approach, both on the ground and in space, is designed to methodically address this challenge. Musk has also reiterated this in his speech, stating that in terms of achieving that, clearly, we want to speed up the production and testing process, achieve a high cadence for any specific technological development, you know, how many iterations we have and what is the amount of time between each iteration. So with each launch, we learn. Every time we launch or conduct a test, we learn something more. To increase that cadence of launching and testing, it's always better to sacrifice hardware rather than sacrifice time, because time is a real currency. That is the fastest way to achieve it. In anticipation of SpaceX's third Starship test flight, the aerospace community and space enthusiasts are eagerly awaiting the next developments. This upcoming mission not only signifies a crucial test of SpaceX's technological capabilities, but also represents another significant stride towards realizing its vision of sustainable exploration. Indeed, during the event, Musk also articulated his ambitious explorations that only Starship could accomplish his vision for the future of SpaceX transcends the boundaries of Earth, aiming for nothing less than a multi-planetary civilization that is self-sustaining. Musk said, is an actual path that we are on to make life multi-planetary. Musk has shared some intriguing insights. The deployment of Starlink is anticipated no earlier than the end of 2024. While there is no mention of the launch day for Starship Flight 3, Musk's silence aligns with SpaceX's existing February flight plan, as recently disclosed by Jessica Jensen, VP of Customer Operations and Integration at SpaceX. Musk emphasizes SpaceX's commitment to efficient Starship development, aiming to save time and streamline processes. Grateful for NASA's trust in SpaceX for lunar missions, Musk envisions regularly flying 200 tons to orbit with Starship in the future. Exciting times ahead. Now here's another very important part of Musk's update related to the reason why SpaceX's second-stage Starship exploded during its second test flight last month. Musk has clarified the cause of the recent Starship explosion, attributing it to the necessary vending of excess oxygen during liftoff. He explained that during liftoff, SpaceX fully filled the Starship's second stage with liquid oxygen and methane. The reason to vent this oxygen during flight resulted in the explosion of the Starship's second stage as Musk outlined. A flight to actually almost made it to orbit. So in fact, ironically, if it had had a payload, it would have made it to orbit because the reason that it actually didn't quite make it to orbit was we vented the liquid oxygen and the liquid oxygen ultimately led to fire and an explosion. Musk expressed surprise at the chosen plan questioning the decision to vent a large quantity of liquid oxygen with engines firing, noting the potential risks. He suggested that venting liquid oxygen horizontally, even at extreme velocity, might not overcome its rate of travel, leading to ignition and a path to the tank causing an explosion. Thankfully, SpaceX is actively addressing this issue with Musk highlighting that the explosion could have been avoided if SpaceX had used an actual payload instead of a mass simulator for orbital delivery during testing new rockets. Musk even disclosed that SpaceX is actively developing a Starship version 3. 
this revelation sparks curiosity as it raises questions about whether the company has bypassed the development of Starship version 2 altogether. Musk has announced plans for version 3 of the Starship launch system with a potential height increase to 140 to 150 meters, surpassing the current 121. The intriguing question arises, will the stretch affect the propellant tanks, payload bay, or possibly both? Speculations abound regarding whether this implies a proportional stretch for the Super Heavy booster as well. Musk has also gifted us with an update on the point-to-point -point mission, adding another layer of excitement to the future endeavors of SpaceX. The SpaceX CEO recently revisited the Earth-to-Earth -Earth transport mission for Starship, emphasizing its potential to revolutionize our perception of time and space. He highlighted the concept of using Starship for rapid international, or intercontinental, I should say, travel stating that it could be the fastest way to get from one place to another on Earth. And I think there's a pretty good chance that it does Earth-to-Earth -earth transport as well. Musk, playfully, suggested, making sure to exclude the nuke and adding the landing part. Emphasizing the transformative impact this technology could have on global transportation. This mission could also integrate with Musk's Hyperloop concept, promising incredibly swift journeys from spaceports to city centers in under 10 minutes. The future possibilities are exciting, and SpaceX seems to be keeping this ambitious goal alive. The recent update also brought forth a wealth of new information about the Falcon 9 program, temporarily setting aside discussions about Starship. Musk's recent update unveiled remarkable developments in SpaceX's Falcon 9 program. He declared that SpaceX is in the process of qualifying Falcon boosters for an impressive 40 flights. Notably, fairings have been reflown over 300 times, saving approximately $6 million with each reuse. The company aims for a 24-hour pad turnaround by the end of 2024, showcasing their dedication to efficiency and cost-effectiveness. And that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in and that's all for today's update. If you enjoyed watching and found it useful, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and hit the like button and if you want to support our channel and if you want to be up to date you can become an exclusive member so click on our perks through the link the description below thanks to watching and see you next time by the way are you familiar talk talk philippines app talk talk is a delivery service app designed to connect more people by delivering items door to door for more information download the talk talk app here down below